I used to think invisibility was only for superhero movies and Harry Potter, but that's not true guys. I actually have real invisibility with me right now and I want to show you. This video is sponsored by KiwiCo and let's see how this invisibility works guys. If I lift this up very carefully, you'll start to see that I'm starting to blend into the background by bending the light around me and showing you the light from the backdrop and I start to become invisible if I get my head behind it. I'm completely invisible and you probably can't even see me. Uh, Matt, did you turn off the you turned off the machine? All right guys, well this isn't really invisibility, this is just a green blanket. That doesn't mean that the technology doesn't exist and I actually have real invisibility technology with me right now and we're gonna build an invisibility shield and test it out and see if it works, so let's go. Inside this package, I am holding the foundation of real invisibility. Inside here are lenticular lenses, which make real life invisibility possible. Let me show you what they look like and how they work. I'm gonna start sliding one of these sheets out. And as you can see, they are just a clear piece of plastic. But these lenses do interact with light in a very interesting way, which will make it possible if we build it large enough to actually make myself become invisible. As you can see, this looks just like a clear piece of plastic and you can very easily see the tablecloth underneath it. Now let me show you exactly how this works. So let's say I'm this piece of candy and I wanna make myself completely invisible. All I have to do is stand right here and put the invisibility shield in front of me, just like this, and I will completely vanish. Boom, and I am completely gone right now, but as I move the shield out, you can see it's still there. When I put it in front, it vanishes, and I pull it back out and it's completely completely gone. So all I have to do to make myself become invisible just like this candy is to build this shield a little bit bigger so I can hide behind it. So let's get to work and see if this will actually make me invisible. I've built a lot of crazy things here on this YouTube channel and this video is no exception. So to help me, I have my friend Andrew who actually specializes in invisibility science. Hey Carter. What's up Andrew? You ready to get this thing started? Yep. All right guys, let's get to work. The way we're gonna be making our invisibility shield is to start with this clear riot shield. And what we have to do first is to remove all the different pieces that are not clear because these will easily be seen. So we are removing everything. It's a very clear lens, it's actually quite hard to see. So now we're rinsing it off and this is the last step before we are gonna be gluing the invisibility lenses or the lenticular lenses to this, making a real life invisibility shield. I'm hoping it works. I really don't know what to expect, but we're hoping for the best. All right guys, Bailey's here. We're not quite done, but we're gonna show him what we're working. Yo, Bailey, come check this out. What's up? You wanna see something invisible? What is, no way. Yeah, so. Uh, I don't believe you. So this is our invisibility show. We're not done, it's a work in progress, but I can make that piece of candy disappear. All right, you give me 10 bucks if you don't. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, you no, where do I need to stand? Where do you want me standing? Stand right here. Right here. So you got a clear view of that candy. You can see it, right? It, yep, I can see it. All right, now watch what happens when I put that over. What? Completely. No way! <laughs> right? All right, we're making an invisibility shield. Okay. So we can make this disappear by moving this in front of it. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It literally disappears entirely. Yeah. Focus. You can't. It's completely gone. You can't. It's actually gone. Take a That's step better back. than the it's video still before. Gone. It's still gone. I can't. I can't. Any angle, dude, it's actually talk. gone. This is the most important part of the entire build process where we glue the different lenticular sheets on to our riot shield backing. So here we go. We need to be very precise with this. I got shaky hands, I'm sorry. You want me to do it? There we go. All right, that's a good one like that. Okay. Just okay. All right, now we are going to smush this down. We're moving our setup into the sun because hopefully the heat from the sun and the UV rays will help the uh, invisible glue cure a little bit faster. Let's uh, take the clamps off. Hey Matt, you see anything under here? You yeah. notice anything? Oh! <laughs> now that we have it all, we're gonna go test it out inside. All right. Oh my gosh, your leg, oh my gosh. What? Is Wait, it, that's sick. Is it working? <laughs> yeah. I can see you. All right, someone else try it, Matt, you get in here. Yo, no, you are completely gone minus your hand. <laughs> I'm actually amazed that even just one shield, I thought we'd have to make two and make it bigger, but even just this small shield. I mean, it's barely big enough to even hide behind. Yo, Matt, I can't see you at all, minus like your hand. Oh Whoa, God. there you are. Yeah, dude, that's amazing how well that thing that's works. That's crazy. Whoa, what the heck, you're behind there too. How many people are invisible? <laughs> 
because I completely got it. It's crazy, dude. It doesn't make any sense. It's working so well. Working. It's working better than our demonstration with the Mentos. So now that we've proved that the invisibility shield actually does work, actually surprisingly well, I figured it would kind of work. It works really well. And so we're definitely going to test it on friends, but we need to make, sure, make it a little bit more functional first. So we're going to grab a couple pieces of this from the Lego boat, cut it to help make it a stand because if you're holding it, then you can see your hand. You need to be behind it for it to make you invisible. So we got some of this clear stuff to cut. No, look at that. It's holding really good. That's perfect. Where'd he go? <laughs> uh, <ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Still here. That's weird. I guess this is basically done now because it'll stand up on its own and it's working really well. We are gonna try to set this up somewhere in the office over there because we have our video editor coming. He has no idea what we're doing or how it works and so we're gonna see if we can go camouflage and I'll be like, Psst, hi, and see if he'll be looking around and think it's like a ghost. Let's go try it. I can't believe how well this invisibility shield works. Guys, as you know, I love to build crazy things like this here on my channel, and I've been developing my skill set for years, and that is why it is perfect that KiwiCo is the sponsor of today's video. KiwiCo offers crates for all ages and skill levels to get started on hands-on learning and fun. Their crates are a great way to end screen time overload and expand your creativity by exposing kids to the concepts of STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, of course. KiwiCo makes the perfect gift for the holidays by keeping the fun going all year long. KiwiCo offers fun activities for the whole family to work on together and each crate comes with everything you need. Let's play a game. I'm going to be hiding in this background somewhere. See if you guys can find me in 10 seconds or less. And to celebrate the holidays, KiwiCo is offering you a free first month. All you have to do is use my link at kiwico.com slash carter. Link is in the description below. We need to find something in here to camouflage into. Maybe we set up oh, the bookshelf, yeah. Here, you go behind. There's no way I would think there's a human behind there. there this is incredible. Did you see me? No, not at all. <laughs> it, I can't even see your shirt, like, at all. That's crazy. All right, so I can clearly see the bookshelves and then Matt is gone. So if I was walking in here and Panos is coming any minute, he's gonna come in, he's not even gonna think about it. Okay, so the angle needs to be, cause he's gonna, he needs to be over this way. So you need to kind of rotate. So when you walk in, like yeah, you might notice that there's a shield or something sitting there, but you're not gonna think, it just looks like a lens. Like a, see me at all? No. I guess I can see you in the reflection that way though. Like go back under. Oh my gosh, he's gone. So we're setting up the hidden camera right now, and then Andrew is gonna go. Nope, nope, and I can even still see the books, or like the bookshelves. I can still see the wood pieces like going across. That is crazy. Here's what I think the game plan is. I think we'll just be normal in here, so it's not weird that there's like a tripod or maybe I'm filming or whatever, and we'll put you behind there. He has no idea that you're here. He doesn't even know me. You haven't so even I'm met. So like, hey yeah. man, hey, my name's Andrew, you know? Well, I think you go behind there and we're just chilling, and then it gets quiet and you go, psst. I'm like, whoa, did you hear that? And then you kind of just like, be like a ghost. Okay. Like, and I'll get, try to get him to like freak out and he'll kind of like start looking around, you know? Cause he probably will scan the room, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially go Psst, again. Maybe I'll make um, cat noises. And then yeah. if, if he gets closer, I don't know if I should have like a keyword, then you just like pop out. Or I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Cause he might just yeah. be like, dude, I can sink. I, Cause he's not gonna see you though, that's the thing. No. It's gonna be so weird. Uh, did he text you back yet? Yeah, he said he's gonna be here in like two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. We gotta get into places, Andrew. Turn invisible now. Wait, Andrew, where are you? Hey! hey. <laughs> okay, we got it working. He's gonna be here. We're gonna put some hidden cameras around. I don't see him yet. I think we we're good. I'm getting uh, getting nervous. This is gonna be so cool. Okay, so we gotta do like it's the 45 second piece. What at what point is that? Oh, hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey. What's going on? Like, does it have to be before like three minutes or anything, anything like, like that? What they said before was like. Where did he go? He's in the bathroom. This is literally too much. So I think we could probably put it in at around like, um, maybe like the five minute mark or something. Oh yeah. Um, so this video is another brand deal. Okay. It's the same one we just did. Oh, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, like, but it's only like a 45 second integration. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Is it like a Wrecking Ball video again, or? No, it's like... It's a totally different concept, but we only had to do, like, in the intro, this video is sponsored by, and then halfway through, we have the integration piece that we're gonna put in. Okay, right, cool. So, it was... What was that? You heard that too, right? I thought I heard something. Yeah, yeah the like squirrel a, like or something. something like that. Yeah, but yeah, so we just need to put it in at like, probably not at like the end of the video. Um, Sorry. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? I heard it again. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a squirrel or something. But, um... What was I saying? I think we just put it around, like, mid-video. Okay. It's so on a 12-minute video. Less than yeah. Oh, there's somebody behind that. What did you think? It's an invisibility <laughs> shield. Yeah, check this out. So like, wait, okay, wait. Does it actually turn somebody invisible? Yeah. So just you just crouch behind it. And now I'm gone. Gone. No way. Yeah. Here, come here this way, Andrew. You go back in. So you're the first person we tested it on. <laughs> you can see the bookshelf. Whoa, that's insane. Right. Yeah, Compl I guess I just kind of saw him like kicking around the corner. But if you if you really like line up the uh, the line of sight correctly, I mean he's like perfectly invisible. Yeah, you can see thing. the bookshelves behind it and everything. That's crazy. Woo! How did you make that? <laughs> You also watched the video. I guess, so. I guess you're gonna edit, so you'll know. Yeah. So what did you think when you? Because you looked over, did you notice there was like some blurry? No, thing? I heard a. Pss my first instinct was that somebody walked in from outside, like into this like little like area right there. It was trying to get your attention or like mess with you or something. Yeah. Like that. I mean, apparently not. And then by the third time, I was like, what? And then <laughs> when I was sitting here in this chair, I mean, I was closer. So when I looked over, I noticed that you were behind there. But yeah, yeah it's crazy because if you just go behind it, it, just blurs. Yeah. And I'm just completely gone. Alright guys, so we actually just talked to Liz off camera. We are now set up and we are going to be pranking her with the invisibility shield. I don't see her, but we're going to just try it right here and see how well it works. And she can come straight out the door. It'd be perfect. How's this? Oh, it's actually not that good. No? This is the worst backdrop I've seen. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but it is, right? It wasn't half bad against that white wall. Right there. That honestly is, might be better. Okay, should I get Liz? Yeah. Let's go get this. Hey Liz, Card is asking for you. Right now? Yeah, he's like in the office. Is it like in a snow or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When the sun goes down. I need a jacket. I need a jacket. No. What do you mean? I feel like you did see me. I saw that, but I didn't see you behind it. What did you think? Did it work? <laughs> did, you, did it fool her? I don't know. I can't tell if it fooled her or not. <laughs> oh, you're gone. Gone. Invisible Liz, where'd she go? <laughs> there. <laughs> so you didn't know I was there? I didn't know you were there. Did I shock you a little bit? Well, I, well, I saw that, but I didn't see Well, when did you see it? Like right away or when you got close? Like when I got close. Like where close? Like I wasn't looking for anything. Right. So, so like right close. here. When right I was there. like, oh, I need a parka. And I saw that and then I was like, huh. huh. And then popped that. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. So there is a trick to it because it is visible, but you can't really see what's behind Wait, go it. go back behind there. Whoa, that's so cool. Right? Yeah. That's really Whoa. cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you stood up, it looks like you're like only at the top. And you have no legs. Whoa, floating away. <laughs> That's so Whoa. weird. Okay, so should we try this to prank Millie? We could put it in the house. You could be behind her. Like, Psst, oh, Millie, yeah. oh, we should play hide and seek with her. Yeah. All right, so we're going to reset this up by the Lego wall and then we're going to play hide and seek with Millie. Millie! Oh, sugar! All right, so luckily Millie doesn't know English too well. She only knows a few words, so she's gonna be our next target. T A R G E T. She doesn't know how to spell yet. There you go. She's learning. All right, Millie, you gonna get pranked. Boom, 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 boom. This is gonna be the first dog to ever experience an invisibility shield prank. All right, so we're gonna set this up. So Liz, hide her. I don't want her to know what we're doing. Uh -huh. So, but just stay in the kitchen. We're gonna turn the lights on. We're gonna get this set up. So the thing is, she's gonna come around the corner. So this isn't gonna work. Exactly. That's the thing. So how? I just realized that. Yeah. Oh, but dude, it works so good. Show <laughs> the colors. <laughs> Yo, it works even better with the colors than anything yeah. else. <laughs> Wow. Oh wow, you're right. How do, yeah. Why does it work so well? It works really well with particular backgrounds that we learned that the more horizontal details there are, the more it'll make you look invisible. So Millie doesn't stand a chance. Oh, wait. She's colorblind. So what if she can see right through it? Because <laughs> the colors are all the same. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. She's in the library if you want to grab her. Done, look at that, invisible. Millie does not stand a chance to see you. All right, so we are gonna play hide and seek with Millie, and the way this works is we go in the kitchen, we let her sniff a piece of chicken, we tell her to sit and stay, and then we go and hide, and then you go, come here, Millie, and then she has to sniff around the house looking for you. It's her favorite game. We're gonna play with Liz, and she is going to be behind the shield, and we're gonna see if Millie can find her. Look at it from Millie's point of view. 
Okay, wait, no, that's too obvious right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, so you gotta rotate it this way. If you put like a blockage, <laughs> like some couches, so she can't go any further, then she might be. So put the boxes here. Yeah. Like. So here is what she is going to be able to see. She is going to be stupid. And yeah, she's gonna look around. Nothing in here, no, no other place to go, and I'm out. That is going to be the invisibility test for uh, the little dog. Let's see, I don't wanna say her name because she'll know we're talking about her. Oh, hey baby girl, you wanna go play some hide and seek? Let's go, come on. There she goes. Millie came in, she's looking. She's looking. Hi! We're gonna play some hide and seek. Sit. You ready? Matt, are we ready? Places, everyone. We need to be casual around the house. Sit. She's ready. You stay. Ready? I'm ready. Right. Stay. Millie, stay. Okay, so Millie has to stay, and Liz is going to hide. This is Millie's favorite game. Everyone is being casual. She won't suspect a thing. I'm gonna go find her. Whenever you're ready, Liz. It's because the salmon smells so much. Oh, you had salmon? When you do salmon, she can smell it so she can just like trailblaze you. So Millie's too smart, so we switched it up. So this is gonna go back there. Millie's ready! Three, two, one, go! She goes! Okay, she's making it around turn this way. Oh my gosh. Where is she, Millie? Oh, this way? Oh, what is that? This way? I don't think this is the right way to go. She is so far. What? Oh, wow, that's a big jump. Not up here. Where is she, Millie? She's not up here. Downstairs, come on. Let's go. Downstairs. Hint. Downstairs, you get one hint. Downstairs. He's coming. Come on. This way. All over the place. Another one. Here she comes. She's getting warmer. She's getting warmer. She is. Oh, she got you. It worked. She went down that first angle and she had no idea. Really? You were sitting there. When she came around this way, obviously, then boom, you're visible. <laughs> Good girl. So I've got to say that the invisibility shield is definitely a success. It's even hard to see Liz, and you can even see the bookshelves right behind me. And we got it to full Millie, so uh, it's good. I think the next video we're gonna do hide and seek with the real invisibility shield and test it against all of Team Rar for a huge grand prize. Major shout out to KiwiCo for sponsoring this video, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. Peace back there. Millie, what are you doing back there? Yeah.